yeah, makes sense. Uh, and that, that, that fits in. She's experienced. So. <laughs> <laughs> but, but no, uh, definitely, I think uh, that's great. Um, I would like you to be the subject, and why don't you go ahead and do the stuff. Oh, you got like a notebook over there. Huh? You got like a notebook over there. Oh, Lord. And that, that's fine. You're not recording. Yeah. That's 100%. Oh, gosh. Hello. Hi. My name is April. And I um, came down at Dixie, and I understand you're going to be my second. What is your name? I'm Elaine. Nice to meet you. Me too. We will not check. So, what I'd like to do is kind of go over some things. Um, prior to you hitting the woods, um, so you have an idea of what Dixie's working on and what to expect. Okay. And um, right now we are working about a three-quarter mile radius. Okay. Um, and she is also struggling with her final training response. So typically she comes in to her subject. Um, within 10, 15 feet, she may or may not trust you enough to come all the way in. But if she comes in, she usually makes a visual contact with you. Okay. She will see you, and she knows that she's found who she's supposed to come. And she's sense specific, okay. so she's working on a refine, which means she's going to come back to me, and she's going to give me her final training response. Okay. Okay. Because I'm working on that, I need you to radio me. When okay. she comes in the first okay. time, do not reward her with the chicken food. Okay. okay. Radio means that she's found me. Okay. Then I will be looking at her body behavior when she comes back, and I will be reinforcing her final training response. Usually, I will be within earshot of you, and you'll be able to hear me say, show me, show me, show me. If you do hear me that say that, then you know that second return you're going to be rewarding her. Okay. I will also radio you and say, final train response, <coughs> and come in. You'll know that when she comes back in to go ahead and reward her. I want you to reward the crap out of her. Okay? okay. Give her that chicken, a little bit of time. She likes to dive in, take her nose all the way into the sandwich bag, but don't do that. Just give it to her a little bit at a time. Okay. And just love the heck out of her. Okay. Rub her down, praise her, okay. everything. Okay. Um, then I want you to walk her back to the car. Okay. And while you're doing that, reward the crap out of her at the same time. If you run out of chicken, that's fine. She's on diet. She don't need any more. So take her back to the car and we'll say load up. That's her cue to get in the car. Okay. And then I'll take it from there. Okay. Okay. All right. I have written down this stuff. So oh, that's spare good. Time, <laughs> okay. kind of go over it. And if you don't mind, look it over and see okay. if you have any questions before you go out. Okay, let me get this All right. When she comes into the first time, do not do anything, just radio you. Don't, don't, okay, got that. And you're gonna, when I do reward her, after you say, show me, show me, show me three times. Yeah, this, I usually show me, show me, show me. Okay. Show me, show me, show me. Okay. Just want to make sure. Then I can love on her and do all that stuff yes. when she comes back. Yes. Okay. And then I'm going to walk back to the car with her? Yes. Okay. All right. I think we can do that. Um, if for some what, reason what, what, what she, is she? She's a black eye. A black eye. If okay. for some reason she comes in, but she doesn't make a visual contact with you the okay. first time. Ignore it. No, you can kind of rattle that bag a little bit. Oh, rattle the bag is okay. Maybe go okay. from behind the tree that you're behind or something like that. Okay. It'll be just enough to where she will know that you're in that area, but she's still got to search a little bit more. Okay. But, okay. Usually she has a visual contact after she's in the area. All right. I can do that. Okay. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Uh, you actually brought up an interesting point there, um, which is you, you're also going to, especially with Sense Pacific, you're going to have people that are not it. Now they need to be told as well what the expectation is. All right. 
they have to be told what the expectation is. Um, and like, I want you to walk away, and I, I don't want you to look at the dog, or I want you to go like, hey, look, this dog gets lost. Whatever it is that I want you to do for that training, you need to tell the other the other person because again, they may not they're just they're not gonna just know what, what the expectation is. So remember the other people need to know um, what it is. And, and if you have a generalist, you also want to tell whoever's going out what the expectation is. Because remember you may be you may have three people out there and you want the dog to find everyone, correct? Normally. Because again you're looking for clues because you're going to find one person and you say, Hey, have you seen Mary Jane? I'll be like, Oh, yeah, actually, I did. I saw her there three hours ago. And then clue. So I don't know if you guys do that, but if you're a journalist, you don't just go, like, Oh, that's not it. Let's carry on. You need to speak to that person or you need to get an investigator. Say, Hey, do you mind speaking to the investigator? Or, Hey, do you mind speaking to this? Uh, um, this guy that's walking behind me, um, he's going to ask you some questions and you carry on with what you're doing. So, yeah, it's important, and, but in training, of course, you want you want uh, the people to know what, what you expect. Anything, Craig? I thought it was really good. It was really, it was concise, but it was also very detailed. Yeah. There's a lot of detail in there. The, the, only, the only thing that <laughs> April um, I thought we could have done better was to say, so, you know, I'm, I'm terrible at explaining things. Would you mind just explaining? And she did it automatically by herself, but if she hadn't, she could have gone off and she could have not understood what you were telling her. So you could say, oh, you know, I'm really bad at giving instructions. Would you mind just, you know, pretend that I'm the dog and, and just go through this again and, and show me what, uh, what um, just so that I understand that you understand what I'm looking for because I can't expect you to just understand what I've, I've just told you. You know, this is not a lot of time. <laughs> yeah, but it, that, but that's good. You yeah. want you, you want, want detailed, detailed right. information. Otherwise, you're not going to get the results you want. Okay. Right. Call. Stuart. This Stuart, correct? Mm -hmm. I didn't miss it. <laughs> It's like, no, my name is Mary. <laughs> <laughs> so he's doing the same work? He's doing it. Oh, he's doing it. Yeah. Hi, my name's Carl. I'm oh, Stuart. And my, <laughs> <laughs> my canine is Quad. Quad. My, my okay. canine dog's name is Quad. And what our plan is and what we're working on is working like intersections, working intersections, and so okay. forth. So I would like for you because you're going to be training help you're going to be the one really training him today is i would like for you to to run a short medium trail 300 to 300 yards have an intersection in that trail to where <clears throat> we have to work through an intersection um, and i have treats for you to reward him when we when he comes to you um, but when he comes to you, we are teaching him to sit. Okay. And it, it's really important 